uh, my record in Alaska, when it, especially when it comes to oil and gas development, and being in charge of about 20% of the U.S. domestic supply of energy. I know there that my record is, uh, is very strong and cleaning up uh, some ethics problems that we had in state government, which I'm sure other governors have faced too. Uh, cleaning up the, the ethical problems we had in Alaska, that's part of a strong record too. But what are you going to say when people ask you about leaving your term early? Uh, you can read my book, Going Rogue, explains exactly why I left after all those frivolous ethics charges and lawsuits that were really going to bankrupt our state and my family personally. It was time to let the lieutenant governor take over the, the reins and uh, continue on with a, a fiscally conservative agenda that we had started together and he was able to finish up the So what do you think, what do you think the odds are that you run? Tour, but do you think that maybe you would have a campaign like this where uh, maybe not a traditional campaign where you have press response? Oh, spot. it would you definitely be unconventional and non-traditional, yes, knowing, <laughs> knowing us. What do you think the odds are that you will run? Uh, I don't know. I honestly don't know. It's, it's, it's still, you know, a matter of looking at the field and considering much. There truly is a lot to consider uh, before you throw yourself out there in, in the name of service to the public because uh, it's it's so all-consuming. A lot of people say the field is having fun. Pardon? Do you want the press along with you on this trip? Um, well, I think I don't have a choice because uh, as much as we don't want to disrupt others, you know, we, we don't want to disrupt people on the, on their trips and on their vacations and, and make it chaos, chaotic for these good folks. But thank Are you, you enjoying messing with our heads a little bit? But no, no, no. That, that's not the purpose. It really isn't. The, the, the purpose is to make sure that uh, people are aware of uh, the good things in America that really do need to be restored and appreciated. And uh, I think we're going to have opportunity to summer to bring a lot of um, a highlighting to those good things. Governor, a lot, of people said a lot of people said the Republican field is, is quite weak. What do you, are you happy with the candidates that are out there so far? Yes, I think the Republican field is already quite strong. It's going to change up a lot, and I think that there will be a more strong candidates jumping in. I, truly, there is still a lot of time for folks to make up their mind and jump in and and um, get their campaigns together. The, the field isn't set yet, not by a long shot. Here in you Pennsylvania, do you do how do you think a conservative could do in Pennsylvania after Rick Santorum's loss a couple of years ago? Yeah, I don't know why a fiscal conservative, a common sense conservative, would not do well here. I, I think that, uh, you know, these are universal issues that uh, all Americans need to be working on and universal solutions that are based on time-tested truths. Uh, and a lot of it has to do with the fiscal conservative agenda that so many of us embrace. It, it's not a radical agenda at all. It's, it's all about allowing the private sector to grow and prosper by keeping more of what we earn and reinvesting in our businesses so we can create more jobs. And that's not a, a radical, obsessive partisan position to have at all. Get the economy on the right track. Governor, what would you do? Yes, what's your name? My name's Renee. Renee, nice, nice to meet you. Hi. 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 Hi.